technology has wrapped itself around the core of everything that we do, and we don't even recognize it anymore. For example, how many of you have not used technology today? How many of you have not used the web? Oh, there's one person here. She left her phone at home. How many of you have not used the web today, right? How long did it take us to get to this point? The iPhone is 10 years old. The BlackBerry, anyone have a BlackBerry? The BlackBerry, there's one kind of BlackBerry user. The BlackBerry user is like, you're going to take this thing out of my cold, dead hands. They just love that thing so much. That's 13 years old. Do you remember we used to have to call the internet with our home phones? And the internet was busy? And you were OK with that. You were like, oh, the internet's busy. I'll just try later. And what was your reward when you got online? It was a bunch of pages with words to other pages that had words. And this was impressive to you. And every once in a while, someone would post a picture of one of those sites. And you tell everyone in the room, gather. There's going to be a picture of my computer screen. And that line would just go back. All right, come back in half an hour. There's going to be a picture of my computer screen. And today, what's your expectation with technology? I was a little bit frustrated that my technology wasn't working very well as I'm traveling through space over the ocean on my way here. Our expectations of change in the use of technology, and if that's true for us, many of us who are the generation that was minding our own business when the internet thing showed up, what do you think that means for a generation of kids who don't know what the world looked like before Google and all the other things that they used, before smartphones and tablets and laptops, before Wi-Fi? I remember the world before Wi-Fi. Tell a 10-year-old kid that you're going to go stay at a place that doesn't have Wi-Fi. And they're, not, they're going to be like, what? Where, are we staying in a cave? Where are we going? I don't understand. As a matter of fact, you check into every hotel that we've checked into, the first thing they give you is what? The Wi-Fi code. Is there a bath? No, there's no bathroom in your room. But here's the Wi-Fi code. <laughs> now, it's important to, uh, important to point out that I'm not saying that this generation is different than we are. I'm not saying that they are somehow superhuman, that somehow they're born with technology, therefore they know how to use these tools. They don't know how to use these tools. As a matter of fact, I would be careful of anyone who tells you, this generation is why you're different. They're not. They can multitask and do three things. No, they can't. They do two things at the same time poorly, just like we do two things at the same time poorly. But how they think about learning is different because of the world they're born into. It's just natural. They think about learning in a different way than we think about learning because of the way we are taught. How do we take advantage of that? 